I'm going to show you how to embed a larger bead into a section of flat peyote stitch. So you can see those beads are not sitting on top of the peyote stitch, uh, they're stitched into the beadwork. Uh, obviously then you can use this piece for, you can turn this into a bracelet or you can, whatever you're doing that needs a piece of flat peyote stitch, you can put beads, larger beads into it in this way. Okay, so in this case the beads that I've added are some Czech glass um, antique beads. Okay, my main peyote stitching is done with some size 11 0 beads. I've used some six pound fire line, but you can use four pound as well, that works fine. And I've used a size 10 uh, beading needle. Uh, it's probably a little bit easier if you use a size 12, but if you feel that's difficult to work with because it's quite fine, then a size 10 will work as well. And then if you have a thread zapper, that's also great. Otherwise, you can just use a pair of scissors. Okay. Right, so I've already started with this piece. Uh, thread your needle with a piece of thread as long as you can work with comfortably because uh, you're going to need a lot of thread for this and you'll still need to add in extra thread anyway. Um, and then I've just started off with a section of, uh, if you just look at that bit there, just ordinary even count peyote stitch. I started by threading on 16 beads uh, for my first two rows and then uh, so that makes eight beads in each row and then I've just done a few rows depending on where you want to start embedding your beads uh, of just ordinary even count peyote stitch. I've already done a few here, but now I'm back to the same as if I was carrying on from there. So I'm just going to show you from here on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to make a hole where your bead is going to sit in the peyote stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on with my even count peyote stitch. I'm going to add the first three beads as normal. So that's one, two, three okay and now I want to start creating this hole that I'm leaving here so now I'm not going to add a bead instead I'm going to go through this bead here which is in the previous row okay without adding a bead and then the next sticky outy bead here okay so essentially I've skipped adding one bead where you normally would add a bead if you were just doing peyote stitch Okay, then I finish the rest of the row as normal peyote stitch. Okay. So I've added another four beads there. Okay, then I'm going to turn around again. Then I'm going to start doing my peyote stitch back the other way again. Okay, until I get to the section where I skipped one bead. Okay. So I've added my four, four beads on there. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now here, this is where I've skipped out a bead in the previous row, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go through this bead here in the previous row and the one before that and then come back up again and back up until I'm coming out of this next bead that's sticking out. So I'm going through back down, back two rows now to there. Okay. And then back up two rows again so that I'm in the current row where I'm working again. Okay, so you can see I'm starting to get, to get a little bit of a hole there. Okay, then I finish the rest of the row as normal with peyote stitch. Okay, right, then I'm turning back again and I'm going to do the same thing again. A third time. Just make sure your tension is tight. Okay, so now I've just added two beads onto there. And then I'm back to the section again where I'm creating my hole, right? So now I'm going to go back down three rows. So I'm going to go through that bead, that bead, that bead, and then I'm going to come back up again 
that bead, that bead, and that bead. Okay, so I'm going through those three beads down there. Okay. And then coming up this next three here. Okay. There you go. So you can see my hole, this shape hole is starting to be created over here. So then I finish this row again with normal peyote stitch. Okay. Now the size of the hole that you leave obviously depends on the size of the bead that you want to embed. I'm turning around again. Um, so you might only do two rows where you skip beads if, you if you're embedding a smaller bead. Um, so you just have to play around a little until you work out just the right size of hole to leave for your beads. Okay. So now I'm back again here by the section where I have the hole. Okay, now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up another 11-0, an antique bead, and another 11-0, okay? Now I'm going to jump across this hole to this bead here, which is the next one that is sticking out. Can you see that one? Okay, so now I'm just adding in my antique bead there, okay? And then finish the row again with my peyote stitch, so that's just one more bead there. Okay, there we go. Right, then I'm turning around again. This peyote stitching backwards again. So just add the one, okay. Now, can you see this bead here, the antique bead, and these two little 11 O's that are on either side, these are acting almost like a sticky outy bead, as one bead. Okay, so I'm coming out of this bead here with my thread. I'm picking up another 11-0. And then I'm going through all three of those beads at the same time. Okay. So I'm treating those as if they were just one bead. If your antique bead was a little bit bigger, you might not need to add those two 11-0s. But with this particular size bead, this is how it works out best. Okay. And then I'm carrying on with my peyote stitching to the end of the row again. Okay. Right. Then I'm turning around again for my next row. Now this is where we need to sort of create the other side of the hole that we're doing, okay? Because now we need to get our stitching back to the other side there, but we can't just keep going through the middle of the antique bead because somehow we need to start building the rest of the peyote stitch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up seven of the 11-0s. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to jump across to this bead here which is the next one that's sticking out. Can you see? So with our seven beads, we're jumping across to there. Okay, and then just one more to finish that row of peyote stitch. Okay? And then I'm turning around again for my next row. Okay, make sure your tension is still tight. Okay? Then I'm picking up another bead, okay? Now the next beads that are sticking out are the seven that I added here. So again, I'm going to treat those as if they were one bead. So I've picked up a bead, and now I'm gonna go through all of those seven beads again. Okay, you might not be able to get through all of them at the same time. So just take two stitches if you need to. There you go. Okay, so I've gone through all seven. Don't worry if there's a bit of thread showing here because this thread will get tighter as, as you keep going through these beads. So don't worry too much about that. Just pick up another bead now and then you go through this next bead here which is sticking out to carry on with your peyote stitching. Okay. Right. 
now I'm turning around again. Okay, just normal purge stitching again until I get back to this section here. Right. So now it looks like you haven't got any beads sticking out, but what you need to do now is pick up another 11 0, okay? Skip over the next bead, the one after the one that you're coming out of, and then go into the one after that. Okay, so now you're going through five of these seven beads that you added on the end here. Okay, so I'm going through the next five beads there. Okay. And then I'm carrying on with my peyote stitch again on the other side. Okay. All right. Then I'm turning back again. Pull your tension tight. Okay. Now the same thing as when I was going the other way. It looks like you haven't got any beads sticking out so you're going to pick up one of your 11 O's you're going to skip over the next bead and now you're going to go through three so in the previous row you went through five now you're going through three of those beads in the middle there okay and then you can see you can carry on with your peyote stitching again because now you've got your beads nicely sticking out again Okay, turning around again. Check on your tension. Okay, carry on with your peyote stitching. Okay, now you're back at this section again. Just one more, right? So you're back here again. So now you're going to pick up your 11O again, and this time you're just going to pick up the very middle bead here. So you're skipping over the next one, going into the very middle of that original seven that you added. Okay, now there's quite a lot of thread in there already, so just be careful that you don't break the bead. You can switch to a size 12 needle here if you prefer, but usually you can get through it all right with the size. 10 okay and then you pick up another bead and then you're just carrying on again with your normal peyote stitching on the other side okay and then for this particular design what I did was then I went and did another row of just ordinary peyote stitching So just do a full row this time. Okay, and then you're going to start your next hole for your next bead. And this time I'm going to start from the other other edge. So I'm starting from here. So when I started this hole here, I put three beads in at the top and then I skipped one and carried on. Now for this one, to have my, my bead lower down, I'm going to add in three beads there. I'll show you quickly. So just put in the first three beads as normal with your peyote stitch. And then my next one would be where I start skipping beads. So I go back into the previous row and come back out again into the current row. And then carry on from there. And then I would do this the same way as I did the bead that I just showed you 
So then I would add one bead here, then the next bead there and there and so on. And that's how you embed a larger bead into your flat peyote stitch.